you are watching Level TV. Thank you very much for watching. And as you can see, we have an Asus US 36 SD Ultrabook here, which is actually not officially called an Ultrabook due to it. Uh, it's an NVIDIA graphics, but I think it's even better than an Ultrabook because the battery time is amazing and we have good graphics. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of um, screws outside already, 13 if you want to change your hard drive to an SSD or anything else. But you don't need to do that if you only want to upgrade the RAM. For upgrading RAM, um, you only need to unscrew this one little guy right here. You can take off this lid, plastic lid, and then you have 4 gigs or 2 gigs or whichever version you bought uh, inside already. All you need to do is um, put these little flips on the side. Then it will pop out like that. Pretty easy. And then you take it out and you buy another 2 times 4 gigs or 2 times 8 gigs or whatever is a viable 46 um, bit Windows 7 or Windows 8 uh, supports actually a lot of RAM but I think 2 times 8 gigabytes should be enough this is a DDR3 actually 10600S by Hynix Echo RAM so let's put that back inside again the other um, side would be for the 4 or 8 or whatever you will be putting in then before you are going on um, taking apart this device you need to um, take this cable here pull it out and there's another cable right under diesel guys which you have to take out also it's a connector for the main board I don't know what it does but you need to take it out and, and put it back inside again you can um, just lift this little tape here up and pull it out and then later put it, later put it back in again shouldn't be that hard you will see for yourself and then you need to unscrew six screws on the top and four on the bottom. There's even uh, under each rubber leg uh, one, so you need to take those off. Or on the front, you just have to lift them up because they are just in the corner. And after you took out these ten screws and the one here for the RAM, um, you can flip the whole thing and um, get some old credit card maybe that you don't need anymore or, well, it's overdrawn or whatever. And you can um, start going around the device uh, here on the side for example start at the um, LAN port it's pretty easy and then just go around it and you can take the top off pretty easily it's a little bit glued on on here due to the chipset so it gets more um, cold air um, here to the metal as you can see it was glued on right here but that's all that there is to it. You can see also the two cables right here in the back that we had to pull out before. And then there's already SSD right here by Intel. So it's pretty fast, but still you have to pay 300 bucks more for 160 gigs SSD. You can buy that cheaper. You can buy more space cheaper actually. So before you can just um, take it out, you have to unscrew um, one, two, three, four, five more screws. So after you did that, you can just take it out and there's actually a place for a 9mm hard drive in here or if you take or if you don't need this um, case at all there's even 10 or even 11mm if you want to maybe put in a whole terabyte I'm not sure so well this was it from my tutorial thank you much for watching and Devil TV um, it's pretty easy to put it back together again the, you have to just follow the same steps don't destroy anything don't scratch anything just put it back everything gently, screw everything back together and don't forget these two guys or your touchpad and motherboard won't work and the whole device won't boot up or you won't have a picture. Till next time, tune in again, my name is Balash Gal and this was an Asus U30, U36SD.